quick note before we start, just a tidbit I really appreciate about Eichenfell, the cats. Not only are cats wonderful beings covered in fur that knock your precious things off shelves, in Eichenfell they act as save points. In addition to that, they also heal you completely. It was something I really appreciated. Alright, now for the review. It's not every day, or even every year, when you get to play a game quite like Eichenfell. It is way more than just its adorable promotional art, stylized characters, and very meticulous pixel animations to create a 16-bit feel. If you ever get tired of how little representation AAA games give people who aren't white and straight, Eichenfell is a light in the darkness that shows diversity gives us an inclusive environment that makes the world richer. Eichenfell's story begins where all great stories begin, with a character wandering through the forest looking for their lost fairy friend- Hey, I mean, sister. Marit, whose name we will probably mispronounce every time we mention it, is on a search for her sister who was supposed to return home for the summer from the magical boarding school Eichenfell, but has not yet done so. Fearing for her sister's life, Marit went searching. As Mariti feels she's getting close, three ghostly figures attack her! During the battle, it becomes apparent that these three ghostly creatures are too much for her. Fortunately, a strange and powerful magic anomaly occurs that bestows our once ordinary hero with magic abilities! She has control over fire-based magic! She finds her second wind and proceeds to burn the three ghostly figures into submission! Marite ends the battle with her newfound powers and belief in herself and charges deeper into the forest to locate Eichenfell and find her sister. Along the way, she will meet many characters find out she's way more than her ordinary origins, and discover the many mysteries of Eichenfell's true purpose. Also, finding Mirit's sibling, that's an important part of the story. You're even recording this with your brother, and left that out. You didn't even let me finish. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just move on to gameplay before you hurt another one of your siblings. Sitting comfortably high on the list of reasons to play this game, next to the story, is the battle system. This interesting take on the traditional RPG system will be more reminiscent of Mario & Luigi games and the good Paper Mario games, in that you press A just as attacks strike enemies, or as enemies strike you, to do the most amount of damage and take the least amount, respectively. This type of system will have you awake and alert as you try to execute attacks and defensive strategies to take down enemies as well as protect yourself. The only problem with the battle system is that it eventually reaches a level of tedium and meticulousness that it becomes something to avoid. Not because it's boring or uninteresting, but more because you just don't want to deal with accidentally pressing the A button a moment too soon or too late, thus losing three times more HP or doing a pitiful amount of damage. Due to this being an RPG, you will have to grind, which will wind down your excitement for the battle system over time, but by no means distracts from the very well-written story. However, if the battle system wears you down just a bit, you can take solace in the fact Eichenfell's world is chock full of interesting characters to talk to, secrets to find, and partners that join you on your adventure that come from all walks of life. Your party starts as a gaggle of strangers who quickly become characters to enjoy every time they're on screen, as they are unafraid to be themselves and make every conversation one to enjoy. Eichenfell is a polished RPG with timing-based battle elements that may make you want to avoid battling after a while, but that only pushes you toward the world in which Eichenfell takes place. It is a vibrant game with pixel work to be admired, as well as characters you could only wish to see in big-budget games made today. It'll take you from deserts to grasslands to deep underground libraries with no shortage of creative enemies to face on your way through. It is truly a magical adventure that we hope you get to play too.